Welcome to this overview of the new Lumira 2.0 Designer application, which is a product for enterprise dashboarding and seamlessly works with an other embedded component for self-serve and service being Lumira 2.0 Discovery. My name is Ivo van Zand, SAP Global Analytics, and on the screen you see a enterprise dashboard for product performance with a number of key KPIs, budget performance indicators, forecast accuracy, margin, and unit sold. Everything is color-coded and interactive. So the moment that I, for example, choose a certain continent, for example, Americas, you see that the, the thresholds are being adjusted and the colors are changed. Also now the error color-coded indicators come in comparing the performance compared to the previous month. On the right-hand side, you see a number of metrics coming up and I can also choose to see a certain year, for example, which brings another overview over here. I see here the budget performance and forecast accuracy per month for 2016 and also all my color coded indicators are adjusted. I put it back on zero and start looking, for example, at my key metrics by clicking the key metrics tile, which gives me this overview, all my key metrics over here. I have on my right hand side evolution graphs for my budget performance over time, forecast accuracy performance, also my unit sold. You see the different individual KPIs. Again, some of them are color coded. And what I can do, I built in some interactivity on top. For example, I could say I want to change my interactivity menu over here. And uh, this brings a number of drop down boxes and say, well, I only want to have a look today at Canada, all the figures. And you see everything is automatically adjusted. And by the way, Canada has quite a bad performance. Putting my metrics back and changing my interactivity to normal. Also, in terms of time, I can click this one. Everything is cascaded. So if I, for example, choose 2016, quarter two, then you will see that I only have a few months to choose from. I'll put it back on the original state. And close my interactive menu showing you the rest of the dashboard. If I go to the next page, for example, over here, you see again the performance over the uh, various areas. I can click one of the tiles over here, which makes me zooming in. And I now can see per product cameras, blue way, for example, how the performance month by month by month indicated in red or green for budget performance and forecast accuracy is evolving. As you can see, the company is not doing well, so we probably need to take some action. If I click again, the graph, it's zooming out automatically, bringing me to the next page where I do have interactivity. For example, over here per product, I indicated sales and budgets. I can change the graph as an end user, saying I'll only want to have a look at, for example, a bar chart. And what I can do, I can drill down in tablets and you will see that the graphs on the right hand side are drilling with me. Yeah, so I drill down and now I have a split in in-store and online. Going to the next page over here, I have my rankings. So on the top, you see the um, top rankings per product. And over here, you see the different days. And in the bottom, you see the lowest ranking. I can click, for example, one of the graphs and you will see that the dimensionality changes now towards the responsible account manager. Next page brings me to an overview of the performance units sold, units sold targets and returns over time. And again, this is a very important graph on your right hand side because it shows the evolution of these metrics over here during the month. I can adjust my charts by just clicking one of the buttons over here and say, well, I want to change the lines or the markers or the color codes of those lines um, and have a look at another color. For example, now everything is orange. I can take that again. And now I can adjust my charts very easily. Next page shows a combination of uh, blended data. So what I've done over here is quite remarkable. You see that the budget performance is from the data source that we originally had. And what I've done, I've combined, blended this with another data set 
that has a complete other level of detail. It is data about how markets grow per country per year and how population is growing. And I combined these two. It is a proof that the combination, the data blending of uh, Lumira 2.0 data discovery can be reused in Lumira 2.0 designer. Very strong and very powerful feature. Again, at any moment in time, I can use my interactivity to set up filters wherever, wherever I want. Next page is a page with an animation. So what I've done is over here, you see the budget performance again with the blended data of another source market growth over um, the area where I have a relatively low budget performance, but a high market growth. That is the green area. That is the area where I want to expand. Low budget performance, I want to grow. Good market growth, good area to start working on. There's animation embedded in here. So if I tick it during the year, you will see the performance changing, the situation changing. For example, I, if I want to have a look at 2017, I can easily see that countries like Chile, Japan and Russia are countries that I probably might want to work on. On the right hand side, you see some more detail in a funnel chart and over here also a blended chart with the performance. For example, over here you see the digital adoption rate being the highest in Sweden. I can change easily the metric and looking at the population index where the population growth where Mexico is the highest. Next section of the dashboard are two, two geospatial graphs. So there's very strong geospatial capabilities over here with various layers indicating the performance and the areas that I want to work on. And over here you see a new feature in Lumira 2.0 Designer that allows me to, to have the end user changing graphs and, and any property in a graph that he or she prefers to do. So if my end user wants to change the plotting area and the background, for example, behind that, that can easily be done. Or if my end user says, well, no, I want to have a look at a, uh, I want to plot this data on a secondary axis, for example, you see the chart automatically adjusting. Imagine that you use with various types of devices, display devices, then there is now the adaptive layout. Here you see four simple graphs. If I now start changing the layout of my display, then you see that the graphs are automatically adjusted, now correctly being displayed below each other. If I change it, you will see that at any moment in time, my graphs automatically are uh, displayed in a correct way. Adaptive layout, new and very, very powerful feature. Going back to my home screen, some other interactivity that I'd like to show you. If I tick this button, I can uh, open a self-service application. As you probably know, Lumira 2.0 Designer comes with a number of self-service templates and a very strong use case for interoperability is that you can reuse the stories that you created in your discovery within your self-service template. So if I click this button, my self-service application opens again with the same layout as I defined and I can simply start playing with my data. So let's have a look at these metrics over here and say, well, I want to have a look at it per city and maybe split it out per product. For the products, I'd like to filter my members only to these ones and make the selection. I can set up or disable the subtotals. I can say I want to have a combination of a graph and a chart. And at any moment in time, I can make a bootmark so that I can see this information back later on. I can also do a drill down. So if I want to drill down to, for example, specific weeks, over here, you see the specific weeks coming up and I can again toggle and play with the data. Very powerful and again, a proof that you can really reuse anything that you initially created with Discovery into, to, into Lumira 2.0 Designer. Which brings me back to my home screen. Um, I hope we have proved to you that the Lumira 2.0 Discovery uh, data analytics capabilities are 
completely reusable in design uh, Lumira 2.0 designer, making it at this moment the absolute leading product in the market. Thanks for your attention.